Welcome to the Lifetime Assembly Channel. My name is John. Today we're going to help you build your double shot arcade basketball system. In this video, we follow the instruction manual that comes with the product. If you've already begun and you need help on a specific step, feel free to check the descriptions below where there will be a timestamp associated with each step in the instructions. Now let's take a look at what's inside the box. There are steps in this assembly that require more than one person, so make sure you have another adult available. Before we begin the assembly process, let's take a look at some of the tools we're going to need to complete the job. For this build, you're going to need a 916 wrench and an Allen key, which are included in the hardware. You'll also need a Phillips bit driver, a drill. To make this easier, we're going to use a universal bit driver, a socket adapter, and a 916 socket. All right, let's get started. First, you're going to take the right bottom leg and the left bottom leg and attach them to the bottom brace using the hardware. A lot of poles in this build are similar, but each one should have its own identifying sticker. When the build is oriented like this, make sure that these push buttons are oriented like this. For this next step, we're going to take the rear middle leg and slide the end with the small hole onto the push button. Now we're going to take the top arm and slide it onto the rear top leg. Make sure your holes are aligned and that the push button is facing up this way. Next, we're going to take the end with the push button and place it into the rear leg assembly. For this build, there's two height settings governed by the oblong holes on the back of the pole. The lowest setting is meant for a room that has a ceiling no less than 84 inches. Next we're going to take the cross braces and attach them to the back of the assembly. There are four poles that look exactly the same as this. These are the shorter of the four poles. Now we're going to take the side legs and slide them together, making sure the push button locks into place. Now we're going to attach the side leg to the frame with the hardware. Repeat the same process you just did on the previous steps on this hole, however we will be doing something different on this pole. For this step you're going to take the fold up plates and attach them to this pole oriented like this. Make sure that this leg is on the outside of the fold up plate.
Now you're going to take the scoreboard and plug the sensors into the four ports on the bottom of the machine. For this next step, we're going to attach the scoreboard to the backboard using the hardware provided. We're also going to attach the sensors to the back of the backboard in this step, making sure that the sensors on the right go to the holes on the right and the sensors on the left go to the holes on the left. Make sure you check the back of the scoreboard, the sensors on the top go in the top hole and the sensor on the bottom go in the bottom hole. Now you're going to take the rim and attach it to the backboard. Now we're going to remove the hardware that we've installed previously. Now we're going to place the backboard onto the frame, reattaching the hardware you just took off while adding the retaining hook on the backside. Now you can attach the nets to the rims. For this next step, make sure you have another adult available because we're going to rotate the frame assembly upright. For this step, we're going to take the lean bar and run it through the loops and the sleeve on the ball return ramp. Into the rails, into the front legs, until the push buttons lock into place.
Now you're gonna take the lean bar and insert them into the legs until they lock into place, making sure that the leg with the double-sided push button is on the left. Now you're gonna undo the strap with the clip and feed it through the small loop. For this step, you're going to attach the rear assembly to the front assembly with the hardware. For this side, insert the double locking push buttons in between the folding plates until they lock into place on these oblong holes. Take this section of the ball return and slide it onto the upper arms. Then take this strap and place it on the hook on the back. Slide the crossbar into the sleeve on the back of the ball return, then using the hardware attached to the frame. Place the bottom strap with the clip around the pole. Now attach the crossbar and the controller to the lean bar. The controller can go on either side. Now connect the power source to the scoreboard. The scoreboard can also be powered by four AA batteries. Take the cord for the controller and slide it through the loops on the side of the bar return, feeding it up into the scoreboard. Now go ahead and pump up your balls with the provided pump and needle. Thanks for watching our video of how to assemble a lifetime double shot arcade basketball system. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our customer service team. We'd also love you to check out our awesome products at lifetime.com.